We fought a Cold War for 40 years against governments that forced all persons subject to their authority to carry government-issued identification cards. Wow. How much more un-American can the American government get? Where are your papers is a command that strikes at the core of freedom of movement and the right to privacy in a free society. Surely there are less intrusive ways to keep track of lawful and unlawful immigrants without assaulting the fundamental rights of us all. Where will this end? The proposed ID cards that the government is now considering are biometric. Thus, the police can swipe the card and learn much about the bearer's medical, legal, and travel history, none of which may lawfully be made available to the government absent the consent of the owner of the card or absent a warrant issued by a federal judge based upon probable cause of crime. Freedom needs breathing room, explaining or justifying one's presence to agents of the government stifles that breathing room and leads to, to, to totalitarianism. Joining me now to talk about all of this is Lou Rockwell, chairman and founder of the Mises Institute in Auburn, Alabama. Lou, welcome back to Freedom Watch. Judge, great to be with you. I was not surprised, but I was scandalized when I read just this morning Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina, Senator Charles Schumer, Democrat of New York, we're meeting with the president in order to formulate legislation that would require every person in the United States of America who is employed to carry a biometric identification card with them, something even the British government rejected in the past 10 years. How un-American could the government get if it ever forced this upon us? You know, Judge, the other day on the GE network, I saw somebody saying that you're a member of a hate group or allied with hate groups if you think that America is in danger of becoming a police state. Well, of course, you know, we obviously are moving towards a police state. And this proposal by Graham and Schumer and Obama, you know, is one indication. In fact, this is probably a good rule in life. If Obama, Schumer, and Graham are for something, you know it's evil. You don't yeah. even have to look into the details. I mean, we, we know that there's no authority in the Constitution to require Americans to carry papers of any sort. We're not talking about a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle on a government roadway. We're not talking about a passport legitimately to leave the country or enter the country. We're talking about papers which would justify you going from one spot in Alabama to another or me going from one spot in New Jersey uh, to another. This, this strikes at a number of not only natural rights, but rights that are specifically protected by the Constitution. What do these people think they're accomplishing if they were to force such a radical change in American life that the police could stop you and say, okay, Mr. Rockwell, where are you coming from? Where are you going to? And let me see that card. I want to swipe it. Well, Judge, they want control over us, and that's why they're doing this. It has nothing to do with terrorism, nothing to do with illegal aliens, which is the excuse for this particular, this particular piece of legislation. They want control over us, and they want to know everything about, as you say, our medical records, our financial records, any legal records, the average cop, anybody, any, and of course, it's far more than cops. There's, there are armed agents of the federal government in every single one of these departments. Right. They're vastly increasing in number and powers, and they want, you know, we're just cash cows to them. We're just people, just like in an airport with the TSA, you just salute them, do what they say, don't look them in the eye, or do look them in the eye, or whatever the rule is. Right. Uh, they should be able to go through your belongings, go through your car, go through your person. You have no rights. Whatsoever, you're just a thing to them. And, of course, this is not the constitutional way. It's I, not the American way. I hope people wake up to this. I, I uh, like you, strongly oppose what the TSA does. It's an assault on individual dignity. When people say, what do you have to hide? I have everything to hide. I have my privacy. I have my dignity to hide. And, and someday I, I hope that the majority of Americans agree with that. But I could avoid the TSA by not flying. I can't avoid this ID card of Lindsey Graham and Chuck Schumer unless I don't work for a living and starve or live off of my savings. There would be no way around this. This would be an imposition on us by virtue of our presence in America as people engaged in commercial 
transactions. Where is the authority for that in the Constitution? I suppose the answer is they don't care if there's well, authority in the Constitution. You know, the Constitution is just a piece of paper to them. And this, this plan was first brooded about in the uh, Clinton administration after the Oklahoma City bombing. President Bush wanted to do it in the Patriot Act. They didn't quite get it. Everything now, of course, under Obama, they're moving further towards us. It's totalitarian. It smacks of Nazi regimes, as you mentioned, communist regimes. This is, this is not American. And I think more and more people are, you know, as Gerald Salenti mentioned in, in the previous segment, more and more people are waking up to what's happening. That's why they want to control us. That's why they want to shut us up. That's why they want to be in control of whether you have a job or not. And, um, again, I think people are waking up to this. And this is why they're attempting this kind of thing, to control us, to shut us up. Uh, but we must not be controlled. We must not be shut up. And uh, if I can quote what Gerald said, don't follow your leader. Those right. are lemmings follow their leaders. Be an independent individual. We are uh, chatting with Lou Rockwell, founder and chair of the Mises Institute in Auburn, Alabama. Think of it this way, Lou. If, if someone is arrested for a crime, the first thing the government agents who arrest them are supposed to say under the Constitution, under federal law, and under laws of all the states are, you have a right to remain silent. And those agents who have done the arrest, whether it's a valid arrest,